How's it going guys? Carl here. Today in Excel, we're going to be using some forms to help you speed up work production. If your work group still utilizes Excel heavily, this is something that can help you increase production by doing manual entry. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so we're going to be starting this from scratch. So let's go ahead and create a few columns just to establish some data. So I'm going to say ID, name, let's just say gender, age, date of birth, and last but not least, phone number. All right, so let's just go ahead and put some manual entry here. I just want to just going to put one. I'm going to put my name. Now, my age, date of birth, and we're going to put a phone number. Cool. So now that we have a little bit of data, we just want to go ahead and make this a table. Let's just go ahead and make this a table. Now imagine having to add a person's name, gender, age, date of birth, and phone number manually by clicking through each cell. This will probably take you a whole lot of time, but there's a little trick in Excel that can kind of help you speed this up. Let's go ahead and go to our quick access. And I'd rather have my quick access down, so let's just move it. So show below ribbon. And then we want to go into more commands. Now, when you pull up the more commands, what it's going to do is give you a popular commands list. And if you scroll in the popular commands list, what I'm looking for is just not there. So what we want to do is we want to go to all commands. Once we go to all commands, we have an array of things that we can choose from. But what I want to do is just click on the inside and just type out this. Just, just click on F. And I'm going to scroll and what I'm looking for is form. I'm going to add that. I'm going to hit OK. So now that I have form selected, what I can do now is I can click on anywhere inside the table. Click on form. So now I'm able to see the information that I've entered into this table. Now let's say we needed some new information. So let's just say new. And let's just say this is going to be two. And let's just say this is going to be... That's fine. I meant to type Jimmy, but Kimmy is fine. And then let's just say, and then let's just give her a number. Fake number. I don't know if it's a real number or not, so don't try to call it. Uh, I think we're missing a digit. All right. So now that we have that established, we can say close, boom, and it adds a new record there. So now you see you can utilize the forms to go ahead and add the information quicker. And if I wanted to come back here and say, no, not necessarily that one, just new. Let's go to three now. And let's just say, and then if I wanted to just keep going, so every time I hit new, that will populate. So this is a way that I can kind of speed up some of my Excel entry. Now I added some more data just so you can see some more features that this form can do. So with the form selected, it'll give you an option to find a previous or to give you the option to find the next. And you can just kind of keep picking through the next until you find it. And if you need to make any changes or modifications, you can make any changes and modifications right from the form. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick Excel tip. This is Carl Huff. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section. And once again, thanks for all the amazing feedback. Feel free to leave more feedback and comments down below. And also any tutorial requests that you want to see or may like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Before you go, if you're new to this channel, 
here's a chance for you to subscribe and make sure you smash that thumbs up once again make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section and if you want to check out some more videos that may help you learn on the go as you grow you can do so right now i'll see you guys in the next one peace